I want to give y'all some time to come in. Me and my piano teeth. I, I, I want to just let y'all come into the house. But before I address Raggedy Ann over there. Not Miss, not Aunt Ann. Raggedy Ann over there that drive to work every day. I want to tell y'all on this live, we need to pray for our, the man of the Jim's house, which is Rico. He lost a family member and one of the family members got pow pow so please make sure that we are praying for rico rico comes and support us all the time that is the strongest young man i have ever seen i'm i, I just love him aquarius norris we got we got some clyde we got some good men on our page that support us too so i want to address last night Everybody know that me, Nisi, are Miss Wanda's mods, okay? And Miss Wanda went on her page last night to address her haters. Now, just because they're her haters, I may not share the same sentiment. Mm -hmm. I don't get involved in that. I don't feel like these people should be addressed. I told y'all about Anthony Loftins. I told y'all that I thought... He was a good content creator. I mean, he is going to bring the mess to get the clicks, the views, and he's going to tell how he feels. That's what YouTube is all about, okay? He's going to bring the mess. And he's talking about people that are on television, you know? He's talking about, you know, them people over there in the good old Huntsville and, you know, who good and who not. But that's his opinion, right? So last night, you know, I was speaking to Miss Wanda like, you know, you, do you want me to, all the disrespectful comments, do you want me to just like, you know, delete them or time them out or whatever? Miss Wanda says she didn't want people timed out. So, when Miss Camille Relly, since you want to call my name, you talking about you got play, play time, well, I'm the one to play with. Because you know what, you've been coming after me for a very long time, and I ignore you, you know. You talk about my piano teeth. You talk about my braids. Girl, these braids are just total decorations because I like to get my hair braided, but I have hair. I just want you to know. I have hair. I'm a mixed breed. I'm Puerto Rican and black, so you know I got that good, good. So, my piano teeth. Let me let you know something about my piano teeth. If I wanted to get these teeth fixed, I can. But you know what? These teeth get me into doors you may never go into. And I ignore you because you know what you do? You try to be other people's stuff. You try to be funny. Look, you funny to the people that follow you. And I respect the things you say over there because I don't go over there. I, I figured that you were funny. But when people start saying that you say you're going to address the mods, you don't even know who the mods are. Peggy is not a mod, okay? Peggy is a friend of the family. Good evening, Clyde. I brought you up today. Peggy is Miss Wanda's friend. Look, I don't know why y'all are so obsessed with this show, Loving Mary Tonsfield. The show done went off until September, and y'all still talk about this every day. Y'all, 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 all the way up one cast member's butt, then you add another one. And everybody else goes on to talk about other things. And y'all still talking about, you know, this, this, and that on Love and Mary Tonsville. And you always seem to come after me. And you keep poking me and poking me and poking me. And I don't understand why. Not that I really care. But I'm just going to let you know. My piano tea gets up and can do what I want to do. Your piano tea. Now, you're talking about somebody's face and teeth. I wouldn't talk about my teeth because your teeth looks just like mine, right? And you're still working and you still have dental insurance that you can use. You know, I have dental insurance that I pay for, but you have dental insurance that your job provides you while you riding to work every day. And I was going to put an empty, be like Miss Wanda, put an image up. Not of your husband, but of your face. I caught that smile one day, and your teeth is the same way. See, I don't know what's going on with y'all people in that crew. Because what y'all have done is, y'all done turned against each other. And other people done went on with good content, doing things. Girl, stop talking about me. I don't know why you, you always talk about me. Are you, what is your problem with me? 
be a woman and tell me what have I ever did or said about you. If you talking about my teeth, girl, your teeth gets up every day. You get in a funky car and you got to go to work on the highway, stressed out in the byway. I get to stay in the bed, get up, look at coffee, go on vacation, pop any day I want to. Go, come, go, come. You got to go to work. Not me. I'm retired at 40 years old. I never had to work no more and I got enough to live off for the rest of my life. But you keep bothering me. And I don't even say nothing negative about you. Miss Wanda says something about you. Look, look, look Cameron. I'm not Miss Wanda. That's her over there talking about you. I don't give up. But, um, let's forget about that. Because I'm te teaching myself not to curse anymore. I am taking that out of my vocabulary. But I don't give a fudge about you. And and you tell me, I never asked you to pull up. Can you pull up? Do you need to take vacation at your job to pull up with me? Listen, what you and Miss Wanda got going on, that's between you and Miss Wanda. Miss Wanda is my friend. If Miss Wanda drag you, is Miss Wanda dragging you? I don't have nothing to say about you because you mean absolutely nothing to me. You're not on my level. You're not my age. We don't collab together. We don't do the same stuff. I don't understand. I don't understand why you keep coming for me. But just get it right. You know, you, you can't drag these braids because um, I got real hair under this. You know, I don't know what you got up over there, over there. But you call me piano teeth girl. I dare you to come up here and show your teeth. Okay. I don't care that you got more subs than me. I, I don't. If I got up here and drag hoo-hahs every day. I'm sure I can have some subs because I got a lot of stuff in the bag. The Louis bag. The, the Louis bag. I got a lot of things that I can say and pull out of a bag on different people that I don't like their content. Now, you addressing Miss Wanda. Why you didn't dress that other blogger who came out about you? Guess what I heard from you when she said you copied her stuff. She called your name. Oh, let me tell you what I heard. Crickets. You didn't say nothing. You go after Miss Wanda, y'all say the same old mess. She can't speak. She can't do this. She can't do that. But she tapped you where you pulled up in her chat. And you know what she told us to do? Do not eliminate you from her chat. She said, don't time out anybody. Don't keep vanish people from her page. So she wanted to hear what you had to say. And I'm going to tell you what the trick was in that. She had you sleep on the trash she was calling you. Then she showed a picture of your husband. And you had to sleep on that she had that. And then it was on your mind so bad. You had to get up and top Miss Wanda after she dragged you for filth. So Miss Wanda played you because she made you sleep on the fact that she pulled a picture of your husband up. And me, myself, I don't put husbands and kids in anything. But I don't know why you felt compelled again to say my name. Maybe it rolls off your lips pretty good. But, Kimmer, you're not cute. You're ugly inside and out. And that's what I mean. And you always got to say my name because, because I support Miss Wanda and I'm not up the other cast members, but I'm not a, under Miss Wanda's butt either. What y'all say about each other, that's y'all beef. Just stop trying to add people in it. And I'm, stop telling your people to send me stuff. I don't care about you. I don't. And I'm addressing you only because you keep saying piano teeth. Yeah, would y'all like to see a picture of this woman in her mouth? Would y'all, do y'all understand that she gets up and got to go to work and talk on her way to work, talk on her way home? When I come on live, I'm either sitting in my air conditioned house in my office. I don't have to make money. I already got it. You're riding to work. You have dental insurance and your bottom teeth look just like mine. But let me tell you. These teeth right here, 
gets me into doors that you can only stand on the other side of the sidewalk and look in. You can't come through the doors I come through. And I just leave you alone. So stay on Miss Wanda. Stay on everybody else you got to be with. Go back to that blogger who dragged you for filth saying you copy all her stuff. And you do. You go and copy other people's content all the time. All the time. And guess what? I guess we're talking about the same thing. You can say it. You put a little spin on it. And I guess people enjoy that. Let them keep enjoying your content. But, sweetie, stop coming for me. Miss Wanda says I'm about you. Go after Miss Wanda. She didn't. She wanted your message just to stay in there because she seen how crazy you was texting, trying to get at her. And then she wasn't even reading it. That was so funny. You was like, I'm in the house. Drop the link. Drop the link. You was begging. Drop the link. <laughs> Drop the link. Drop the link for me. That's what I'm talking about. See, you was begging her to come up on her page so you can be seen. She dogged you and let you sleep on it. And then you had to wake up, brush your teeth, put your clothes on, get in a car to go to work to talk about Miss Wanda. After she done already said what she needed to say to you. That's what I don't understand. We content creators can get along. Go after the people who go after you. I don't say anything about you or any content creator, not unless it's a compliment. But you can't even keep the friends you had. Y'all was in a little brouhaha together, and guess what happened? Y'all all fell apart, and they started dragging you. And all you can do is say, let me go after Marcella, let me go after Wanda, let me drag Marcella by her piano teeth. Girl, no. I am so beautiful inside and out that it's ridiculous. And every time you watch my lives, because I know you got to watch my lives, because you're mentioning things on my live. I'm sure that nobody is taking that out intricate details and passing it on to you because I talk about politics and things that black people could do. If you listen to me sometime, maybe, baby, you can stop by the beginning of August if you let me give you some tips. You wouldn't have to go back no more. I can take the little bit of money you got and flip it right there in your 401k. And help you get something that would generate you residual income instead of YouTube. So y'all be over there begging for super chats and cash apps. I don't bother my subs with that kind of stuff. You know, I come to to generally just speak to my subs and show some love. And they show me some love. And then every time somebody stupid say something about me, they want to tell me. Girl, you're not in my league, not even on YouTube. You think that the subs bring you the black belt? No, baby. I was on All About That Tea. I was on All About The Tea. 100,000 followers. Then I was on Nosy Ho Page. 50, 60,000 followers, right? Then when I came over to my page, I wasn't dragging people anymore. See, God changed me. But just like the video I just did, I ripped off the plastic. Girl, you the plastic. You the plastic. Right now, did you know, I decided to get up on Sunday and said that I was going to New York because they had the Jay-Z expose in New York. Where am I at? In my New York apartment. And I got a big old house in Virginia. And another house in Florida, Fort Lauderdale. Why are you getting up going to work every day? I don't have to cook for my husband or myself. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Chef. Can you make us some salmon and some cream spinach tonight? 
You got to drag your funky tail home from work. You got to cook for your husband. You got to wash your tail. You got to do everything around your house and then sit in your empty dining room. And guess what? Let me tell you, I'm going back home tomorrow. And when I get home in my big house, I'm going to go in my backyard and I'm going to flip a flip. I'm going to do a flip. Because, see, I know I'm older than you. I'm 58 August 15, and I am flipping, doing flips. Why are you looking like a McGruff? Go over there and look. I'm going to post her picture in my community tab. She looks like McGruff. And her teeth look like my CDT. I love my teeth. Do you see how people like my TikToks? Thousands. Go look at my latest TikTok dancer. 12,000. It's not how many subs you got, sweetie. It's how you treat the subs that you got. That's what you do. And God promised me, baby, that the people are going to subscribe to my page that he want in my company. You get it? I'm not worrying about the subs, the subs. Y'all y'all friends over there fell out because y'all was competing. Oh, I got 10,000. I got this. I got this. Then y'all start fighting. And guess what? All the modest YouTubers are sitting over there watch Anthony Lopkins suck up all y'all people. You ask me. Cease and desist and all that other stuff. Got Anthony climbing that wall and he is knocking y'all all down. And guess what? He even advertised y'all. And you still ain't where he at. Girl, you a mess. You a mess. Like I said, if you want to stop working, Camarell, hit me up. I can show you how to take the investments you already got and double, triple it. Then you can have a retirement plan where 2023 might be the last time you getting in that raggedy car. Driving to work, talking about people, then driving home, talking about people. I can teach you to do what I do. Get up. Like, what time is it right now? Like 637? What my cup say? Be still and know. Psalms 46 and 10. Be still and know. Girl, be still and know. That I don't care about what you say about me. I am beautiful. I'm well rested. I'm grateful. And thank you for mentioning my name because... <laughs> I got like four subs from your page. Like I said, Miss Wanda asked me to moderate, but last night she said when your raggedy tail come on her page, let you and Anthony say whatever y'all want to say. That's giving her what? Clicks, views, interaction. You gave Miss Wanda interaction. You know, when you was, oh, I'm here, it's real, real, say it in my face. Blah, 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 blah. Everybody knows you are a words, wordsmith. You, 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 you speak very well. You know, you can read very well. But see, I don't have to hit you with, you know, saying that you're ugly and all this kind of stuff. I can hit you with real stuff. So stay in your lane, <laughs> literally. While you're driving to work, stay in your lane. Keep your eyes on the road instead of in your phone. If Miss Wanda talks about you, talk about Miss Wanda. You wanted to come on Miss Wanda page. And guess what? Did you take a look at her views today? You went over there 
let me come out, drop the link. You were begging her. You wanted to be seen and heard on Miss Wanda page. And she made you, she gave you her best of my butt to kiss. And then you tell me she Miss Wanda can't talk. Let me tell you this. <laughs> you understood everything she said last night. Everything. Everything she called y'all mispronounced, put it in the wrong dialogue in the sentence. She had your subs over there what interacting on her page see learn the game girl you had her interacting on her page now i'm gonna pray for you kim real miss wanda come for you i'm not gonna get in the middle of that you go for miss wanda whoever come for you you go after them but if i'm not coming for you it's because you're not worth my time. Not worth my time at all. See, I know you need your time because you got to go to work. Clocking in and clocking out. All I do is get up and do a TikTok. Do what I want to do. Play golf. Jump on planes. Trains and buses. Girl, leave me out of y'all stuff. Miss Wanda understood you go after Anthony and anybody, I will be your mod. I will do what you want me to do. I, I will not be in there making comments against you or anybody. Miss Wanda loves. She loves when you come after her because she made your butt lose sleep on thinking about what you were going to say to her on your way to work. Y'all call her unk. Okay. It's, you think that bothers her? Just like you call me ugly piano teeth, I really want people to look at you. You got a square bob nose, sponge bob nose. Your teeth look just like mine. If they pull you in closer and really look at you, but you know what? I'm not gonna say that you're ugly, really, really. I just feel like your actions are ugly. But I am gonna say, God, can you fix her nose a little bit? Can you can you do something about those craters in her face? Let me not even take it there. So let me tell y'all what the real is. Do y'all know, y'all remember that football player who had a heart attack right on the football field? Y'all know that Shaq's son went through the same thing? And now it's Bronny. Bronnie James has was in the hospital yesterday because cardiac arrest. What do y'all think is happening? These guys are too young to be going through cardiac arrest. They're too young. What is going on? Okay. I also want to say I want to um, send Quad some prayers. Quad Langford from Married to Medicine. Remember Quad came on live years ago and talked about a little girl that was her little girl. Well, the baby drowned in her pool. And y'all, they're not saying, TMZ is not saying whether Quad was there or not. They're not saying. And I heard some other things about Quad. So I'm just going to ask y'all to sincerely pray for a quad okay when i get back tomorrow i want to tell y'all what's been going on here in new york hey they starting to change these banks over to digital coins i need for y'all to get y'all necessities in your house like i came here and i'm stocking up my apartment with things that i could have up here in my apartment and then i'm going to stock up my two houses with paper towels and toilet paper and stuff because I don't know where I might be. But I'm going to make sure that I have some five tens and ones. And then we're going to do some financial talking. Uh, that quad story is horrible. And that's why I asked to sincerely pray for her. Because you know what? I think that quad left her husband thinking that old Gregory was going to be doing bad. But Gregory is shining 
and I think that is really getting to quad and there's some other activities allegedly in quad's life that are not good so I also I can't remember everything because it's on I didn't take no notes uh, I want to tell y'all I got some notes that I'm gonna talk about tomorrow though um, I want to tell y'all, get everything for your house. Y'all, Psalms 46 and 10, y'all, it said be still. I be over here trying to live my little life, and people just try to poke me because I like Miss Wanda. I welcome Miss Wanda. I'm not jumping on the t-shirt, Marceau bandwagon. Look, for real, I don't know these people live, and people better be cautious because a lot of this stuff are storylines, for real. They story lines. Like all this stuff is about to get crazy on that show. But they need those ratings. Tonight, be sure to catch um, Make It Make Sense or Millie Chan about Ke I mean, Nene's interview with um, Carlos. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Carlos got the ingredients for the sauce, okay? Carlos be interviewing people from Bravo, his network, anywhere. He's staying in the loop. He getting paid from the network. He getting paid from YouTube. He getting his little blue check from Instagram. Carlos is doing the sauce, and they over there talking about Carlos. They want him to focus on the Eminem mess. He was like, chow. Y'all just better bring that on to the to the scene when season seven come on. So that's what that's about. Because people don't even realize that. People don't even realize that Kiki and Tisha are family. Blood is always thicker than water. When those two fall apart. So let me tell y'all a little secret that I know. So Y'all know that Kiki going to throw something on Tisha. Well, Lordy, Lordy, won't they down in Houston last week drinking it up, having a good time? They done made up and hugged, and then they about to come back. And people going to be in their feelings on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Like I told y'all, when I report Love and Marriage Huntsville season seven, I'm just going to report some things, not everything, because it's just too phony for me. And then they was asking Miss Wanda last night, why you ain't saying nothing to Stormy? Because Stormy and Tisha are fine. They fine. You know, some, uh, you know, one of the cast members need a little help with a storyline. They helping each other. But, y'all, that stuff about, you know, Tisha copied um, Stormy's ingredients and all that kind of stuff, no. They both go to the same distributor. You know, the person who make the oil and the hair. The same distributor, the same chemist help them but give them different ingredients. So that's what I'm saying. People come after people's employment, which, Camarelle, don't you work with the law? Camarelle, don't you work with the law? It's a shame when people can dox you and can come up here and tell your real life. See, you can Google me and you're going to see my real life. Girl. Where your kids at? But let me, let me, no, let me take that back. I'm going to take that back. Anyway, Cece Carlos knows it's a game and baby, he's playing it. That's right, Cece. Make it Monty Hunty. Okay. I stopped watching the season just to cray cray. It is, and girl, it's gonna get crazier. But the storyline with the, the 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 porn. Do y'all know how old that porn tape is? Do y'all know that this was set to come out this season to boost the ratings? I promise you. Everybody who say they mad, they ain't mad. Because their favorite was right on down there in Houston, too. Yeah, you know, they got to make it look like they ain't talking and stuff. That's what it is. Ratings. 
people say they're blacking out. The numbers honestly are going up. The numbers going up. So who blacking out? I don't understand it. I just do not like y'all when all these content creators now, they talk about suing each other and cease and desist. It's not necessary. If somebody is bothering you, the best thing to do is ignore them because you know how hard it is to actually go after somebody on the internet. Oh, happy birthday, Rebecca Towns. Happy birthday. If y'all watch the original Straight No Chaser, her birthday is July 27th. Are you a Leo? Because Leo time is coming. Thanks, 60 years old. Rebecca Towns is 60 years old. You know what that means. She's intelligent. She's seasoned. She's smart. Beautiful. And thank God. She was able to see 60. You know, a lot of these young girls are not seeing 60. You know, let me tell you what happened with this girl here in New York. And I'm going to um, print it up for y'all when I come live Thursday. With this girl, I know, is a stripper. And so, she be making her money. So, she be dancing in Queens. She be dancing in different places. So, where she was dancing at, these two girls would follow her and tip her real big. Was tipping her, right? So, she finally sat down with these girls to get some more money, right? She figured she sat down with them, flirt with them. They won't give us some more money. So, what they were doing, buying her drinks, they was kicking her the money and everything. So, they decided they were going to leave together. And she said that she felt good. She felt good in the hood, okay? She was good to go, do the do, get the money from the girls, and keep it moving. But when she got in the car, she said while she was sitting in the back seat, she started getting woozy. She said, I was getting woozy. I had fell out. And she said, I was like inebriated. And she was like, chow, drink like that. And I knew that, you know, the bartender would be switching our drinks with water, liquor, water, liquor, water, liquor to make it look like it, you know, to make it look like it's liquor, but it's really water. She said she woke up in these girls' car and it was, she could hear the girl up front on the phone telling this guy, I got another body for you. I got another body for you. I'm going to need some more money because this girl is a dancer and she going to make us some money. So she laid there for a little bit. She said because she was coming out of whatever they gave her. She was laying there for a little bit. Oh, Rebecca said, my husband surprised me with in Orlando, Florida, 6.30 at p.m. tonight. Oh, woo, 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 woo. That is congratulations, half fine. So, she woke up. She woke up and she heard the girls like, y'all going to have to give me some more money. We got another body, right? And she said, when they got to the destination over there by the Brooklyn Bridge, right, a guy tried to get in the car, the back seat with her when they thought that she was out. She was like laying out. They thought she was gone. She jumped up out of that car, jumped on the highway. And where they had parked to exchange the girl, you know, cameras, you know, they dumb. Cameras are everywhere. So these cameras captured them, but her leg is broke. She was fighting them. She was everything. Let me tell y'all ladies something. When you go out to this club and old boy want to buy y'all a drink, I know that's a nice gesture. But I suggest that you go over there and get your own drink and know who you're buying it from. Or have a little drink before you get to the club and when you get there, you better uh, be on water. Because she said in her mind what made her get up and start fighting. She said she was thinking about they was going to sell her organs or they was going to traffic her. She said, girl, in New York, it is real. It is real. Uh-oh, she said, my dress is gold, black shoes, heels, 
jacket black girl please take a picture of miss rebecca and send it to my dms oh i know you're gonna look flat because i love a good go go dress and i definitely love black heels honey so much evil in this way now i'm gonna tell y'all if y'all didn't look at my last video where i said she's 60 years old oh you mean miss rebecca or the girl the girl she's 36 years old and she's a stripper and up here they make big 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 dolls like they make in atlanta okay but it's a little cleaner spot here you know you can wear a different color masks that match your clothes or the clothes you're gonna take off anyway but she told me she got away from that the girl is 34. uh oh miss townsend said my husband suits black shoes black black jacket go ahead miss rebecca please take a picture of us but i'm gonna tell y'all it's some crazy stuff going on here now, y'all know that Takeoff passed away. And it was a lot of things surrounding that, you know, allegedly that Quavo had something to do with it, right? Let me tell y'all what happened to Quavo. In the good old Miami and Tampa, let me, let me tell y'all, Miami, you can rent yachts and stuff like that. In Tampa, you can rent those yachts and stuff. Well... Quavo decides to rent a yacht with 17 of his friends. Now, y'all know if you ever been to D.C. Have you been to D.C., Camarillo, where you can take the spirit of D.C. or the spirit of Norfolk or the spirit of San Francisco or different places, right? Well, this yacht was only going to go in the Miami waters surrounding, you know, Star Island and different places, celebrities, you know. Be it. My husband surprised me when my son and daughter came to town. Oh, I bet they're going to sell her organ. I bet they were going to sell her organs. Listen, she was scared. She said that started rolling her mind. She said she just lay in that chair, in that car, and played like she was still out. And once it came to a full stop, and they opened the door for him, and all four of the doors came open. She said when he went to open her, his door, she opened her door and got, she started running. And she said, she ran all the way until she got on the highway. She said, and one girl and the guy started running after her, but they couldn't keep up with her because, you know, the girl on the passenger side and the guy was on the passenger side and she was on the, behind the driver. She opened that door and the driver didn't open the door. It was the two on the other side and she took off. She said she was running for her life. Because she said, it just kept thinking, oh, my God, they're going to take my organs. Oh, my God, they're going to traffic me. And she, and she was dancing in New York. Where she woke up at, she was on the, going across the Brooklyn Bridge, going into Jersey. This is a true story. Um, that was weird to get robbed on a yacht. Yes, let me tell y'all about Quavo. So Quavo takes 17 of his friends up there, you know, the strip girls and all this kind of stuff, and they having fun. And he paid knowing, knowing they weren't going to go that far. They're going to go around Star Island and stay in the Miami Harbor. And when the captain was on his way back, somebody went up in the captain's stable and uh, put a Pow, pow to the captain head and told him we want our money back and we not ready to go back in. So one of the staff on the um, boat still had his phone. He sent out a message. Next thing you know, the harbor police in the little tub boats surrounded the boat. Cops was on the deck waiting. Quavo and them come in and Quavo going to jail too. He got arrested and released. Now, I don't know if his other friends had the paper. The paper, I mean money, like Quavo did. But God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. And then you got old Offset did a commercial with a wig on. He coming out with some new music. Why, what? Quavo about to go behind bars. Quavo, because you know what the little boys that ain't got the money like Quavo going to do. 
like they did with YNW Melly, they going to blame it all on Quavo. Quavo let us come on the boat with the pow pow. Quavo said in the beginning that he told the captain himself, man, for this type of money, you ain't going to take us out, but here, here, here. Quavo, you about to go down. You know why you're going down? For takeoff. That's why you're going down, allegedly. Take off. You know, the fight you started with that mouth. This is sounding like how No Limit Records went down. That's right, CC. God don't like ugly. God about to come back here. Y'all better mark what I'm saying. I'm seeing it outside in New York. Now, let me tell you, if you look at my video, Come and Eat With Me Gems. I was getting off of the train, the two train to be exact, to cross over to the one train to get off on my street because the train, I, the stop I got off was at 79th Street and I needed to go to 76th Street if y'all knew to go to New York. So that train would put me right on 76th Street, number one. When I was getting off the train, this young boy lifted up his shirt where you could see his ribs and he was like, what up? What you got? What you want? My daughter said, I'm about to go to jail. Because my daughter's tall. My daughter was like, I'm about to go to lock up. And I was like, it caught me off guard because where I, where I live at up here, it's a good area. And you wouldn't think there was no stick up kids here, but people, they desperate. You got people on the train that's struggling that's living on the train, that's struggling with mental health. They can't be outside laying on the ground. They go in the subway so they can get the air conditioner and they just ride up and down, up and down. Hear me? I got this Louis Vuitton bag. You know, I got this ring on, my wedding ring. Yeah, Carmel, maybe I'll hock this and get me some braces at 58 years old. Girl, please. Hey, University of Marie. Yes, y'all better pray because it would have took nothing for this boy to, I, you know what I was thinking? I'm secure. This is a good area. I, that's what I was thinking. But when old boy was like, what up? My daughter, honest to God, said, I'm about to go to booking. That's what my daughter said. She was dead on it. Dead on him because, you know, he looked at her because my daughter's tall. He looked at her. People are desperate. People are needy. They need food. They need money. You know, y'all cannot even imagine how God has opened my heart and my wallet. Honestly, if I see somebody laying out there with no socks on, I'll go get a pack of socks. You know, I run into one of these little... $9.99 stores and get them a pack of socks. If I go into a restaurant, I always come out with a care, come out bag, you know, a bag. I, I would give my leftover food to them. And sometimes when I see them before I go in there, I can't even eat all my food because I'm worrying about what that person don't have. That God has a blessed me with abundance. Hi, Preppy. Bye, Rory. How are you? Oh, my grand my grandbaby, her name is Bella Towns. Oh, okay. I like Miss Bella. But yes, Miss Rebecca, happy birthday. And welcome to 60. I'm not there yet. I'll be 58 next month. But guess what? God is good to us because he allowed us to see 58 and 60. He allowed us to see these things. But honey, I am so sick of, if I go into somebody chat, I went into another content creator chat last week just to say hello. And um, the, the person sub said, what is she doing in here? And the content creator said, stop the show. Wait a minute. I support Speak With Your Girl Marcella in my chat. He said, so if you blocked her, unblocked her, unblock her, because I support speak with your girl myself. So he said, I'm not jumping on that train. They don't, they couldn't, they was like, I asked, why y'all don't like her? And they couldn't even give me a reason why they don't like this girl. Because she talks to Wanda. That's what they, he was like, unblock her and put her back in my chat. 
And all I could do is give him a $50 cash app, super chat, and say thank you and moved on. Miss Rebecca, you've been married 20 years, I mean 24 years. Well, me and Tim will be married 20 years in September. Y'all be missing Tim. I FaceTime him all day, y'all. If I ain't on live with y'all, I'm on live with Tim. And I let him look. He said, help me get back here. He had like I've been going. I just left last night, yesterday. I left Virginia yesterday to come to New York. And then tomorrow I'm going to do some more little grocery shopping to pile up my apartment. And then I'm going to go on back down to Virginia. Because I got, Sam's got me on lock. I already got all my paper towels and tissues and everything. And, you know, my sister's down there at my house down there. So she makes sure that I have plenty of tissue, paper towels and stuff. Make sure my house is sealed and clean and everything. Because I'm about to pop on down there next month. You know, I'm about to. I got a pool back there. She let me know I got a friendly alligator that likes to come up and try to come through the fence. Hit the like button, y'all. It's sad because people are hating on other people for being their own person. That's what I'm talking about. I never said nothing about that girl. And she just keeps coming for me. And then people will send me what she... Why do people do that? Because that is people who like the mess. They want to send me what somebody said about me. When I don't even know. They said, this ain't the first time she talked about you. I don't know because I don't watch her. I don't. So I, I really, really don't know. But when somebody says she said something about me, to compare my looks, I am created by the Lord. Okay? And so is she. She was created by the Lord. But if you look at both of our mouths, they're similar. But my teeth are a little straighter up here. They cricket right here. But yours is cricket on both levels. And then you want to call my mouth piano See, Well, I can buy a piano. I can't. For all three of my properties. I can buy a piano. You're going to work. I'm not. I'm retired. And if you want to learn, you want me to tell you a way that I can make sure that you're retiring by 2024, January 2024, give me a call. I can tell you how to put your money in certain stocks and, you know, flip you and your husband money together where the money will be paying you instead of you getting out riding in that funky car as hot as it is outside. I looked at your video, you was riding to work and it was hot. And you had your window down. I was like, Lord, what's a cash app so I can get us some gas? Mm. Rebecca said, my husband surprised me with cook with cook dinner tonight. Got off work tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah that's good because my husband will cook. Um, yep, I'm going to be doing Freaky Financial Friday. And I'm going to make sure that I send it on over to Miss Rail since she, you know, but I promise, Miss Real, it was all planned. Miss Wanda wanted you to come on her page, and she wanted to say things about you, and um, she wanted you to hear it. She wanted you to beg to say, drop the link, and you did it. You was like, drop the link. I'm here. I'm in your house. Drop the link. You so scared. And then you start saying, she's scared. She's scared. She was laughing. She was laughing because she wanted you to say it. She got up under your twist and you fell for it. That's the funny part. And Anthony, she loves toying with Anthony. She loves it. Like she said, she go back at Anthony, Anthony go back at her. Anthony don't bring in other people to hurt Miss Wanda. Like he ain't going to bring in her mods. He ain't going to do that. Anthony will talk about her daughter, because that would hurt Miss Wanda. But you think that talking about me is gonna bring Miss Wanda? Look at how many people viewed Miss Wanda's page last night coming after you and Anthony. Look at all the interactions. <laughs> you, Carson, and Anthony was going in, going in. 
Hey, you know what Miss Wanda said? I only want to make a thousand dollars. I mean, a thousand clicks of views uh, a, a, a month, and she made like three thousand. Yeah, that's the evil chaos demons that worship that one cast member. Do do is go around harassing and bullying people for free thinkers is sad, really, right? Hey, beautiful butterfly, and and you know, like I said. Beautiful butterfly was in that chat last night. She didn't have to go in and degrade anyone. And what Miss Wanda did was call Anthony a sissy, right? Then he went on his page and said, Oh, she's talking about the gays. Miss Wanda supports the LGBTQIA community. Miss Wanda has this person that performed at her birthday party and everything. He tried to make it about the community and not himself. She was going after him. He was going after her. Uh, why would I jump in and say, Anthony, leave her alone? No, Miss Wanda wanted that. She wanted that interaction. She wants them to keep her name in their mouths. And they do. Yeah, they do. She got everything she wanted from them three people. She got what she wanted from Carson. Mm -hmm. She got what she wanted from from um, Rail. And she got everything she wanted from Anthony. Interaction. Let me see what you said. Miss Wanda didn't drop the link. I was glad Miss Wanda didn't drop the link. Mm -mm. She wanted Camera Rail to sizzle and fry. Especially. When she put a picture of Camarell husband up there. Now, if that would have been mine, I would have went berserk. And all you can say is, um, oh, my husband, he lay next to me. He be next to me. Well, I hope so. I hope your husband do sleep next to you. Are you convincing us? Miss Re um, Rebecca, I saw you said your client was 100 years old today. Wow. God is good, isn't he? Child Wanda was built for that type of conversation. That's what I'm talking about. She was scratching on them. And Camarell was like, I'm in, I'm in your chat. <laughs> Drop the link. <laughs> I'm here. I'll say it in your face. <laughs> Miss Wanda said, I'm not going to go back and forth with her. I just want her to come to my page. I know that her people going to run over there and tell Heard that I'm over here reading her for filth. Let's see if she come. It was all plain, Camarell. But Camarell, there was a blogger that came out about you two weeks ago calling you raggedy, saying you copy her content. She do this, then you do that. And you didn't say nothing. On your way to work, you know what you did? Well, today I'm going to do celebrity gossip. I was waiting for you to go back on the content creator who was ragging for filth. She was dragging. She was dragging your feet on the concrete without shoes on at 100 miles an hour. And you said nothing to her. Why is that? You will not throw Miss Wanda because you know that she's not a wordsmith. That's what you did. <laughs> Show me that you can go back and forth with somebody who will go back and forth with you and have your same diction. You, like I said, I was on All About the Tea, Nosy Ho Live. Girl, you, you right here. Dragging you wouldn't even be worth it. All I can say is, girl, yep, I was going in last night dragging everybody. That's what I'm saying. Miss Wanda set that up. That was a production that Todd and Tisha produced. And them people was up there. So, Camarell, you did the expected for you to drag your musty car over there. To Miss Wanda's page. With your 11, 12,000 subscribers. You wanted to hang low. And all y'all talk about. Miss Wanda can't talk. She got her fifth grade personality. Well baby. 
Miss Wanda might talk like she talk and walk like she walk, but she can sit in Lamborghinis, Mercedes. Y'all talking about her house look like a funeral parlor and all that. She got a house that's paid for. Miss Wanda be going on trips, spending time with family. She retired, Camarell. You not. You still going to work every day. Then you got to do, you got to be slave to trade. Then you got to get back in your car. Then you got to go in the house and cook dinner for your husband. Did you say he's so fine? <laughs> he lay beside me every night. Well, I hope he do lay beside you every night. I hope he do. I hope y'all doing a lot. Now you want to talk about Miss Wanda's husband. Miss Wanda, put that in your mind. I got a husband and a boyfriend. She she did that to make people talk. Miss Wanda played that game. They wasn't ready. Miss Wanda, deep down, because I speak to her, she love. She love. Anthony, she said, it's taking funny. Let me say, my son, you've been on um, some good content creators page way before you had your own page. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm saying I won't drag camera around. Y'all, let me tell y'all, put a one in the chat right now. Have y'all ever seen me on Nosy Ho and All About the Tea? Do y'all know that I can drag for filth? Do y'all know that God is taking that away from me and that's what the devil The devil want me to come back and start doing that same thing. But see, when the devil wants you to do that, right? When you're trying to talk about God and talk about how to build people up, nobody don't want to listen to that. They're going to flock to my page. Soon as I start cussing them out, calling them all kind of hoes and bees and all this kind of stuff, my subscribers are going to build up. But right now, God showed me the other day, my subscription was 777, 777, 7777, and I was like, thank you, Lord. Because, see, I wasn't coming on every day, and he was showing me that your, your subscribers are picking up with the people who need you, who feed you. See, my subscribers feed me. But, see... There's a lot of things y'all don't know about Marcella. Y'all don't. Y'all. Let me tell you. I'm from Harlem. And I have not always been this woman. Tell me, drag me, pull up, and all this kind of stuff. You too old to be saying pull up. Even if Miss Wanda told you to pull up, you did. You went right to her page. You pulled up like she baited you. Like you was a goldfish looking for a little cracker. She baited you and you came right on over there. Anthony, she wanted his attention. She knew he was going to come. But you came around and Carlson, y'all went right on over there and tried to show y'all tail. And guess what was so funny, y'all? I want y'all to put a one in the chat. And this was funny. <laughs> I said, Miss Wanda, do you want me to take the nap? She said, nope. Let them talk this in action. But not only that, Miss Wanda was really like laughing at them and they was going, I could see. <laughs> and the funniest part about that, Miss Wanda didn't even read every comment they wrote. She didn't even get a chance to read the comments that they was writing because she didn't have her glasses on. So they was over there entertaining their own subs who also pulled up. I said, well, ain't this a dumb, dumb diddy? Dun, 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 dun
the mm, I did it, did it, did it, dum dum. That's what happened. That's my story. Let me tell it. But real girl, keep talking about the celebrity news. And don't talk about the mods because Peggy's not a mod. I'm a mod, and there's another mod. And if she wants you to know who she is, she'll tell you. And you know, and you saying that I'm stupid, girl. I'm far from stupid. I could come over there and balance your husband's retirement and your retirement and your and your bank accounts. Anything, any money y'all got laying aside, I can take a dollar and make it into four dollars. Legally. Girl, it's what I know about money, retirement. That I could walk off a job at 40 years old and say... Thank you, Lord. I ain't got to work no more. And I'm bragging. You definitely have come a long way, Marcella, but you put in the work to bring good content. And I do. Because I could come up here and call camera everything. Everything. But, you know, let me tell you something, camera. I ain't going to tell people your real name, but I doxed you a little bit, girl. You and your husband was sitting in a bar one night, a club or something. To me, it looked like he was looking at something else that might have caught his eye while you were sitting on the couch. It wasn't you. But um, I doxed you. I think you got about 10 more years to work. <laughs> and you appear on YouTube trying to make a YouTube chat. When I come up here, just for really, like you say, entertainment. I come up here for entertainment, educational purposes only, for real. And say a ledge. But you got to say it, and then you got to make it funny. You got to try to make it funny. Then you be in your car laughing at your own daggone things. I was like this lady. Tell about me piano teeth. I can buy a piano. I'm happy about my teeth. I'm beautiful. I'm successful, I'm educated, I'm happily married for longer than you. And all my houses, my apartment and two houses, fully furnished, not with yard sale furniture. That's all I gotta say, not yard sale furniture. And I need you when you're doing your little, um live and you be sitting at that kitchen because you be working from home you still got to get up and put on their shirt to work for the man right so please paint them walls in the back of your where you sit there and do that little stuff brighten it up or you trying to hide them craters on your face i mean i'm just trying to figure out because this is smooth skin at 58 honey smooth no masks, no pills, Noxzema and Mila Eve. They watch everything she do. They love Miss Wanda. That's right. They watch everything they do. Marcella, you did. You did what? You did what? Yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. When you look into my background and you think I'm not going to look at you, but the people who admire you the most watch you the hardest, and they will tell everybody else, um, they would tell everybody else they hate you when they really don't. They really admire you, but they got to stay the cast member's puppet. So if I say I don't like this cast member, then everybody's going to turn from me. And then the people I used to hang out with, they ain't going to hang out with me. Stand on your own. Did you put out her info? Nope, 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 nope. Never would do that. Never, not even with Miss Wanda. I would never do that. So when people talk about me, I want to know who you are. I would never do that. Did you put out her No, I, I doxed her. I found out her information, but no. I have doxed people who don't like me, who feel compelled to say something to me. But I believe if I told Miss Wanda her information, Miss Wanda would have told y'all last night. I would never do that. 
And that's my hand of Jesus. Because you know what? I wouldn't want anybody to get hurt under me. And so when we call ourselves content creators and influencers, we have to watch what we say. But you still need the person who comes after you to know. 11,000 subscribers still would not be able to top what I could say to you to break you on down. Words hurt. So let me tell you about another story. Because I told y'all about my girlfriend that's a stripper and whatever, whatever. And I want to tell y'all to this. It's because y'all need to watch people. They are looking for body parts. And they are trafficking our children. Let me tell you what happened. And it's on Instagram. Um, it was a young boy. Teenager. This woman came into his Instagram. And I think it was YouTube. I mean Facebook. Something like that. And started showing her body. Started doing things with her body. And told the boy. Man that I done showed you my fruit cock and tail. I need you to show me yours. And then she started pumping him up where he started doing the things actually that she was asking him to do. But the next day, she sent him a message and said, if you don't send me this money, I'm going to share the pictures of your body all over Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, everything. This young boy committed suicide. Real story, real talk, real life. Start monitoring what your children are doing, what they're doing on these phones. Yet, because they are jealous of Tisha, they are jealous. And I don't understand why. Look, they. do you know that, uh, I'm going to get to that in a minute. Start monitoring what your kids are watching on these phones. It is pertinent that you pay attention because a grown woman caused a teenage boy to commit suicide. You know our kids are interested. And, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to post this on my Instagram. If y'all want to take this story and sit down with your grandkids, sit down with your teenagers and tell them, look what happened, so they don't fall for the trap. Let me see. Then you didn't dox her. Then stop saying, that. okay, okay, because I didn't share her information. No, I just got it in my file. Uh, CC, that has happened so many times. There was a show on 48 Hours about the same thing. Yes. Y'all, we got our black kids starting to commit suicide. We have to look into that. So I'm not going to keep y'all long, but just go back and watch my videos from today. I took y'all to Prospect Park. I took y'all to the Brooklyn Central Library where they have the Jay-Z Expo. And it was beautiful in there. And everybody was harmonious. I showed y'all the ice cream I used to buy as a kid from Mr. Softy. I went to a nice restaurant around the corner where I live in my apartment. Not apartments. See, Miss Wanda say it her way, and I say things my way. And these teeth help me have great pronunciations of things. So, but I'm going to tell you what these teeth also do for me. Thank you, Lord, for these teeth. Thank you, Lord, for changing my tongue. Thank you, Lord, for changing my life. Thank you, Lord, for changing my heart. Because <laughs> Miss Real, I don't look like what I've been through. But I could drag you with this mouth and you would go through some of the stuff I went through and you wouldn't be able to hang. You would run away from YouTube. Girl, please. Um... And let me see what she said. Wow, that's sad. Um, Banjo Queen said, enjoy New York City. Be safe. Take a free ride on the Staten Island Ferry. 
Well, I won't get to do that this time. But but I've been on train cab. Look, when I got too hot today, I jumped into a yellow cab. Went from Manhattan 34th Street all the way to the Brooklyn Central Library. It cost me $67. And guess what? It's raining again. I'm going to go take a park, a walk around the area of Central Park about where I live at. You know, two blocks down is Central Park. And I'm going to go out there and take an evening walk. It seems it's real lit up down that area, and it's safe. And I'm going to enjoy my night, but I'm asking y'all to pray for Rico in our house. I'm asking y'all to hit that like button, please. I got 56 views and 21 likes. Come on, Miss Rail, hit my like button. And your subscribers, too. Hey, sis, I'm back in New York. I'm back in New York, too. Um, Maybe... um. Come in my DM so I can give you my phone number and maybe we can meet up because I don't leave till 9 p.m. tomorrow night. And I was just going to do a little shopping. Pray for Rico, y'all. Y'all, please put our, all our gems on the prayer list for tonight because there's a lot of things happening. So y'all be sure to go to um, Marcella Speaks and I'm going to post those two stories about... um. The young man who committed suicide, please talk to your children, your grandchildren, your neighbors, and everybody. Uh, I had a phone call, but I'm like, thank you, Miss Bud. Yes, and guess what, y'all? Miss Rail, before I got on live, see, they're delivering my laundry. See, the, see the buzz? They're delivering my laundry. Hold on, baby. Hello? 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 See, all I gotta do is drop my stuff off at the laundry and they deliver my laundry, Miss Rail. <laughs> you still gotta put yours in the washing machine. So I love you all. Hit that like button. Y'all go visit all your favorite content creators. Be sure to watch that interview with Carlos King and, and Nene. Go to um, Millie Chan's page, Make It Make Sense, H2 page, Red Label Confessions. You know, Danny Robinson page. If that's what you like, go and visit different content creators. Get off of these sad people who got to make their clicks and views off of Love and Marriage Huntsville and it's already gone off. Give it a rest. Bye, y'all.